I'm Max. I'm a senior physics student at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. And today I'm going to show you how to make a spooky sound maker that we call the singing cup. Now to make the singing cup, you need a cup, a piece of string, and possibly a piece of a toothpick. You take your cup and you have someone drill a hole small enough for the string in the bottom. Then you can tie one end of the string, pull the string through. If it doesn't stay, use the toothpick to hold the string in. Now to make sound, you need to wet your fingers so you get the, the string nice and damp. And then if it, it should make a spooky sound. So experiment on the material of the cup and how big the cup is to see what sounds you can produce and annoy your parents with. Now let's invite a friend. Hello. And that's science. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Earl Blodgett, or Dr. B, and I'm here to do some spooky music making with you. And this is something that you can do at home and have fun. It's kind of challenging, so you gotta be persistent and work at it. So the idea is that you take something as simple as a plastic straw, and you can turn this into a musical instrument. Kind of like the musical instrument called an oboe. Pretty simple, but you might need someone to help you with the scissor work. You kind of squish one end of the straw flat, and then you want to cut it so that it's pointed on the end. So first I'm going to cut it one way, then I'm going to turn it around so I can cut it the other way. Ooh, and I've got a nice point on the end. So now if I blow between those two pointy bits, and if I squeeze it with my lips, just right, I'll get something that operates just like the musical instrument called an oboe. So you could call this the mummy's noise maker if you want. We call it a soda straw oval. We've got instructions for how to make it. Now you can try it with different kinds of straws. Some of them work easier than others and some of them are very difficult. So I've got a different kind of straw here. Really wide and fat for drinking smoothies. And that's kind of interesting to make a obo with. So once again, I need to hold it flat Cut it pointy on the end. And you can experiment with how much of a point you make and how little. Then I need to squeeze it with my lips just right. Too hard and I can't get any air through. Not squeeze it enough and it won't vibrate. I'll just turn red in the face. <laughs> now, another thing you can experiment with once you get really consistent with the sound is trying a different length on the straw. <laughs> so it made a different note. Now, if you really want to make fun noises, you can take one of these straws and stick it into a garden hose with a funnel on the end. And now instead of an oboe, you have a bassoon. The bassoon takes a lot of wind to blow. <laughs> 